Because I, I think we know how everybody's day was. You know, I woke up in a fantastic mood. Nice. Because the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. I mean, come on. This is the elephant in the room. Let's get right to it. Rev, I told you I wasn't going to rub it in your face. Because you, you, you. were in disrespectful. You were very respectful of your opponent. Shout out to the Chiefs. Very man. respectful. <clears throat> Cook, were we disrespectful? I, I'm not in this. He let me off the hook. Oh, I just want a neutral party in this. Oh. <laughs> I don't uh, remember saying the Eagles were going to smoke the Chiefs. The Chiefs had no chance. There's you no said way. said there was a roster gap. Yeah. I, I think that's where he took the disrespect. When you guys. I don't uh, think that. You said the same thing. False. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't think so you don't false. think that's false after what we just witnessed? Because oh. did, did Jalen Hurts play better than Mahomes? You I thought saw there was, tweet. You thought there was no way Jalen Hurts could outperform Mahomes, and he did. Mm. You think that there was there a gap between Mahomes and Hurts before Hurts this played game? played better. Before Hurts played the, better. You oh, guys feel like Hurts played better. So that means if Hurts. If Hurts covered the gap between him and Mahomes, then that means the Chiefs had to cover the gap between the rosters. But uh, the thing is, is that the Chiefs was. roster was always great. I don't the the Chiefs roster is great. I'm not disagreeing there. I think the difference between this game was Jalen Hurts fumbled the ball, pick six touchdown, or excuse me, fumble six touchdown, and the Chiefs had the longest punt return in Eagles Super defense. Bowl history. The Eagles defense for sure, but Eagles it was, defense was a caca. three point game. I mean, Second you half, you have seventy sacks horrible. on the season, and you put no pressure in the Super Bowl. I think the it's difference is it's bad. Not a good look. Not you looked deal. at the Eagles said, cut everybody. rating on defense and ranking and said, you know, this defense is elite. But real ball knowers knew it was fraudulent. That Eagles defense has always been fraudulent. Said, and oh, against the, the Chiefs, it was fraudulent. Uh, now, Hurts big play Slay. Shout out, to, shout out to big play shout Slay. Shout out to the GOAT. Because when I had that Jalen Hurst take, he replied. He, he let DM'd. you know. Because he knows he, ball. He let me know. But he said, we play both sides. Well, shit, not on Sunday. Ain't Ooh. play both sides on Sunday. Uh, Ain't play both sides on Sunday. Uh, not ideal. I mean, honestly, you take away the fumble six and the punt that gets down to the five yard line, you let up what twenty four points against the Chiefs. And You're the feeling pretty good. What happened about to that, that right? elite defensive line, the historic one? Oh, cool. uh, they're elite. They locked just, up. We fucked up. Chiefs had the third up. most sacks in the history of the game. They faced a ton of weak offensive lines, but against good offensive lines, check those numbers. They were they were good, not great, not elite. So, are you implying that they weren't elite this year? I'm implying that against better competition in offensive lines, mm-hmm. they aren't the dominant. Listen, think Joel, Joel, you have you get fifty percent credit because 50%. you you were right. The Eagles defense 50%. did not show up, but we're not going to sit here and act like you and Mr. Brown over here did not disrespect Jalen Hurts after two bad games. Okay, you're good. You get you get your credit, Joel. But I'm not going to let that. you come up here and and make it seem like you predicted all this shit perfectly. You knew exactly how this is going to go, and you thought smart. and you just was just the fucking Nostradamus out here and was able to predict the future. Hey, listen, it wasn't. You got was, half right. You listen, got half wrong. You could go. I, ahead. I was pretty close. You know, if this was fifty uh, percent of failing this, grade, if this was straight. Bets, I would have had a winning day. 50% That's what it failing was. Grade. Isaiah Pacheco, X Factor. Facts or fiction? Facts. Facts. Kadarius Tony, X Factor. Yeah, I Facts agree. or I fiction? I agree on both of those. Facts. The defense being able to contain a run. Facts or fiction? They Facts. A little 35. I just talked about the Enough run, not the contain points. the run. We just had, did contain the no, run. We literally 35 had, points. Yeah, we, we had, had a conversation that I disagreed with this. you on. And I disagree with you yes. as well. So we'll see what the chat thinks. Because okay. I think when you look at the stats, they did indeed contain the run. They forced them to a lot of bad situations, whether you want to admit it or not. Now, listen, Rave is an Eagles fan, so for him, I feel I feel bad for it. I, I feel do. bad for you as well. Because, you know, I want, I want to see how I want to see the Eagles win the Super Bowl. You're so, gonna these get guys, though. You're these gonna get guys. I was, We're talking about right. the Warriors. We're talking about Houston. I, but these guys you just respect me. As, as no, I do. Houston I do. Yeah, you, you made me root against my own friend here. <laughs> yeah, you made me dislike the <laughs> Eagles because I the, the narrative you. I don't teams appreciate you. that. I don't appreciate first. that because Lord knows all season, whether it's basketball or football, you're going against my squad. So, so I don't want to hear it. Chiefs, the fourth team he picked to win the Super Bowl this year. I think so. Cowboys. Did no, he, he had the think Bengals. Third, no, I, I had no, the Chiefs third? winning. Look at my playoff bracket. The Chiefs were my winners Bengals, outright. No, Bengals, no it, was, it was Bengals, then Chiefs, then Cowboys. I never had the Bengals okay. win the Super Bowl. He never had the Cowboys Chiefs. winning. He had the Cowboys going, coming going, out. Going, coming going, out going, what are you talking about? I had, the, I, had the Chiefs, apologies, apologies. I had the Chiefs win the Super Bowl all along. I thought it was the fourth team, but it's only the third. No, however we got here. In the NFC, I had misses. The Chiefs were my team because I had Mahomes coming out on top. And listen, we're going to have a Mahomes segment. Later, and we're going to talk about his greatness and talk about why he's one of the greatest humans to ever walk the planet <laughs> Earth. Humans. But my goodness, man. My goodness, disrespect. And all the times that I've been told that I'm not a Mahomes guy, <laughs> it irks me, man. It does. Because we got into this Hall of Fame debate in the offseason with me and Mr. Velez, 
Told me he wasn't a first ballot Hall of Famer. Well, that's sealed now. He's first. It's, he's a first ballot now. That's sealed. It only took a year for that take to age like grace of God. Like, oh, my goodness. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer now. He's one of the best quarterbacks ever played. In my opinion, he's the best ever. We're going to talk about this game. But I had to get that off my chest because my, oh, my, the disrespect. The disrespect. My the God. disrespect. <laughs> This deal. Chiefs roster was great. Oh, elite man. offensive line, elite defensive line, great linebackers, young corners, but they're physical. Wide receiver cores and all that, but they get open. Travis Kelsey, best tight end. Isaiah Pacheco from New Jersey. He's Dominican. That's my guy. Mahomes, best quarterback of all time. I mean, his team was a great roster as well, and I just wanted it to get some respect. That's <laughs> it. I just wanted some respect. I wanted some respect. So we know the Chiefs Thank won. God. Okay. We know the Chiefs won 38 to 35. Mm -hmm. And it, it had a miraculous comeback. I will say I was a bit worried in the first half. I had money line Chiefs. And I, I don't know. I thought I was going to lose my money that day. I'm not going to lie. But my dad told me, oh, no, you keep your money in Mahomes because he's come back from worse than this before. In the playoffs, 24 to 0, 19 to 10. And in that moment, I was relaxed because Patrick Mahomes finds a way. I look at how the Chiefs' offense performed versus the Eagles' defense. That's what, that's what we'll touch on first. The offensive line held up. The running game was going with Pacheco and Patrick Mahomes. I mean, this was the tale of two halves. First, first half, the two first drives were great. Pacheco had an amazing run. And they scored on the first drive, but on the second drive, I disagree with Andy Reid's decision to, to not go for it on fourth and three. Agreed. I, I thought that you were averaging nine yards per play. Go for it, put the Eagles into a corner, make them force and ma make them pass it, pass it and, and it'd be obvious and not have to, you know, rely on that run game. And I felt like after that drive, the momentum was kind of halted. The Chiefs weren't able to get much going, although there was a hold on Juju that wasn't called and it, it stalled the drive. But then in the second half, four straight scoring drives, the offense was cooking. Pacheco finished with 76 yards, a touchdown, plus 13 yards over expectation. He's had a tremendous rookie season. Mahomes was only pressured seven times this game. They were doing a great job. Double teaming Hassan Reddick, having a tight end on him, chipping with a running back. And he was only pressured on 26% of his dropbacks this game. And it's the first game since week 12 where the Eagles did not record a pressure rate over 34%. Halftime adjustments. You know, you're down 21 to 27. You find a loophole in the Eagles defense and how they're playing and how they're passing off routes. Kadarius Tony, Sky Moore, wide open touchdowns. Kadarius Tony had that big time punt return touchdown. That Jalen Hurts fumble was huge. I thought Nick Bolton had a return touchdown after LeJerry Sneed hit Miles Sanders as well. There was a lot of plays in this game that, you know, were were ticky tack. And I will say, I don't think the last play of the game decided this game. <clears throat> I understand the holding call was a big time call. It was the correct call. Juju was wide open. He would have been open earlier if it wasn't a hold and that would have been a touchdown anyway the Eagles had chances to get stops their defense got absolutely torched they played man coverage on 55 percent of their snaps and I, the Eagles versus top 10 defenses because people don't seem to believe me when I said this team was fraudulent that the defense at least because I think the offense is amazing the defense is fraudulent suddenly flipped quick suddenly top quick 10 flip aside. I never said the offense was not great what are we talking about here <laughs> Top top ten the giggle. top top ten offenses. Cowboys, Lions, <laughs> Chiefs, Vikings. Joel, before you continue, oh my god, I'm, I'm oh here. My I'm god. here on today's show, ready to give you credit. I am. I need you to to be real though. Take your take your L's with your W's, no, bro. Listen, your, your W's, W's way way bigger than your L. But, but it's not be a man. man. It's not lie. Be honest. Who, There's no who, way you can sit here and Jim say it hurts face. All, all this. No, and another thing, because it was the quote of the week on, on one of the podcasts we had with people are mad at me for telling the truth about Jalen Hurts when in reality I've been right all along. That's the only reason why I'm not gonna allow you to sit here and continue and say that you've been super high on this Eagles offense all along. That's cap. Everything else? Go ahead. Proceed. Go ahead. I have. Go I haven't been it. I haven't been high on I haven't been super high Maybe on John. Jalen Hurts. <laughs> I have not been. What we we're gonna talk about Jalen Hurts. Short and sweet. He had an amazing historical performance. I'm not taking anything away from him. He was on some shit. I never said this offense was an average immediate offense. This offense is great. They have an elite offensive it. line. 
I never questioned it. Oh my god! I questioned what? I, what exactly Joe did I Girl. question, Dell? Yeah, you, que- you questioned the opponents they played. You said basically throughout the whole year they haven't played anyone substantial, noteworthy. I said who, and I specifically remember saying who can they play to impress you. You told me the Cowboys and 49ers, and that was it. You basically went the entire season say they haven't played anybody. I'm not impressed by this. That was the Eagles as a whole. And Jalen Hurts' season, elite, he had an elite season, there's no doubt. But I have to take into account the strength of schedule of the opponents. Despite that, the offense was tremendous. I never questioned how great this offense was. I mean, how many times I mean, do we sit there and talk about he's not good against zone blitzes and cover three? Oh, my God, he's going to get exposed. He's like, that not. Shit was he stupid. wasn't. I mean, you want to say you want to say it's stupid, but listen, for me, I'm going off actual evidence. You saying it's stupid is not factual evidence because the you're facts, you're you're just facts, nitpicking very small things about his game. Like he his his EPA against zone coverage. I've said it last show. I'll say it again. Was the same as Joe Burrow, who you hype up. He our deserves zone, his our credit. Zone, our zone coverage is the same as zone blitzes. No, it's different. Our zone coverage is the but, same. Wait, as but when you have a zone, zone blitz, coverage. you're also playing zone behind the blitz. But it's different. There's different statistics and measurements that measure each thing. We don't have to get into this. You and, can you can keep. I going know, with but your, your what I'm saying is that. Yes, he did struggle against zone blitzes. Cover three is not his strong suit. But in this game, against zone blitzes, he was amazing. I mean, those are real question marks I had. And in this game, he was great against them. That I'm not going to say that he wasn't great against them, but to say that he wasn't bad against them or average just, before that we had to bring is it not up. a fact. We had to bring it up. Yeah, it's not a fact. Though. I've up. always said the Eagles offense was great. You hold us I mean, accountable, we'll hold you accountable. You accountable. Yes. I mean, listen, you guys, y'all had there a go. major L, so you want to now right. throw L's my way. Hey, I, I and said you want to act I like said. I said something I did not say. No, I did you, not you, say you've been questioning this offense all season long. I questioned Jalen Hurts, not the offense. Not the offense. All season. One The same way where I questioned Brock Purdy, but not hey, for hey, not hey, his hey, offense. Hey, hey. I questioned Brock Purdy the entire year. Did I ever question their offense? Boy, oh. No, I didn't. It's a we know the Eagles' I offense started, is great. I started my statement with saying, I came here prepared to give you nothing but credit. I just want to make sure that we're not going to sit here and lie. Correct. I never said the Eagles' offense wasn't great, bro. You guys are sitting here lying. We're I never lying. said that. I never said you, that. I you sit here. If you guys, if you guys can find the clip. One of my strongest skills is We have, we have thousands of fans. If they, they could go out and they could find a clip where I said the Eagles offense is not impressive. Jalen Hurts. I never said that once. Well, mission for your, y'all. your question was Jalen Hurts. Is Jalen yes. Hurts not the focal point of the offense? Riv, is there not a difference between I'm asking, questioning well, you, the offense you me? and questioning Jalen Hurts as a player? What's the difference? Okay. What's, what's the difference, Riv? If you have a shitty quarterback, it's hard to have a good offense. No. Brock Purdy's a shitty quarterback. The Niners were amazing. He was playing great in that your, system. Your quarterback can be solid and the offense be catered to it. Like, you still have the elite weapons and stuff like that. So, it really it depends. They said, like, Brock Purdy was a this prime was, example. This was a two, top two offense in the NFL. Oh, yeah. I, no, I'm listen. I, if they were the ninth-ranked offense, that's yeah, one Yeah, thing. I understand. Were, but no, Brock Purdy's right. a good example, though. He was okay. Two but was the a great example was, of that, too. I'm not going to say that, but, you know. Brock Purdy was solid, but the offense pretty much carried him for most of the year. That can happen with elite offense as long as they have the weapons. Hold up, Riv. I want to ask you something. You yeah, sure? All year, did you question the Eagles' offense? No. Did you question Hurts? Yeah. Okay, there's a difference. I think that's an obvious difference. Now, the either Eagles, way, either way, it's both wrong. The, like, yeah. question, you want to question I mean, Jalen Hurts? You want listen, question listen, the if you want me to sit music. here, if if you yeah. want me to sit here, yeah. and, <laughs> listen, Riv. I'm sorry. He's going to ask you questions. I'm going to ask you questions. If too. you want me to sit here and say that Jalen Hurts had an amazing game, I'll sit here and say he had an amazing game. Right, we know I'm that. not. I'm not taking anything away from Hurts. Everything that I thought he'd come into this game to struggle against, he was phenomenal. He played phenomenal. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. That I have previous question marks about him. Definitely yes, me wrong. but the difference between me is that listen, Jalen Hurts came into this game. He balled out. I'm giving him credit. All you did last year was discredit Joe Burrow, despite everything oh. he's been through. So I just want to say that. Oh, so I, for, for you to for you to flip this don't. on me on Hurts, let's just, <laughs> let's, just let's just let's just Joe calm Burrow. down. Please let's just calm down. Joe you you you. At least I'm not up here saying the Eagles season was an entire <laughs> fluke. You did that with the Bengals last Bro, year. I did. I didn't, they didn't go back. Okay, to you did call them fraudulent. The defense was fraudulent, absolutely, Shit. and it, it showed. I mean, we can't the, we can't even defend them right now, man. No, it's hard. It's very hard. The Eagles' defense versus top ten offenses this year. I filtered out the Cowboys without Dak and the Jags because it was a rainy day. They faced the Cowboys, Lions, Chiefs, and Vikings. They allowed three hundred fifty-two yards per game, which was twenty-third. Thirty points per game, which was worse than the NFL. And on average, the entire year, they had the seventeenth-ranked rush Wait, defense the overall. The Cowboys, Lions, Chiefs, Vikings. The Cowboys, the second time, right? Yes, okay. with Dak Prescott. When the Eagles' defenses fa- have faced quarterbacks or offenses that have been great, they have not been good. And the Chiefs, 
are one of the best teams against better defenses. In NFL history, Patrick Mahomes has the number one EPA per play. Number two is Patrick Mahomes when he's facing elite defenses. That's actually a statistic, that's statistical fact. So even Mahomes, when he's facing an all-time competition, is still an all-time great quarterback, arguably the best quarterback in the NFL. The Eagles' defense was not good. No. We know that. It was not good at all. And it, I'm not – look, listen, the pass rush had an amazing year, but the Chiefs' offensive line held up. It did. And I, I give a lot of credit to the Chiefs. No doubt. And Mahomes, I just can't speak enough about this guy. 13 for 14 in the, in the second half. The one missed throw was a throwaway. 126 That's yards. Nice. Four it's straight scoring drive. 134 passer rating. Yep. I mean, Patrick Mahomes, man, this guy is just able to overcome anything. I don't, I don't know if I've seen anything that he has not been able to overcome this season. He injured his ankle versus the Jaguars. He beats them. He beats the Bengals on a hobbled ankle. Then in the Super Bowl, he, he re-aggravates it, goes into halftime, and comes out, and he's amazing. Better. Mahomes is the best quarterback I've ever seen in my lifetime. And there's no debate about that. And people can call it recency bias, whatever it is. Uh-huh. It's not. The only quarterback that I look at and they have the accolades mm-hmm. and the eye test is there too, is Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. Tom Brady, no doubt about it, has the accolades. He's the greatest. But you don't think Payne got the accolades? He has the accolades, but Mahomes, he already has two Super Bowls, yeah, and he's five years in. Peyton Manning has five, like five, four, five MVPs, MVPs, five MVPs. Though. Peyton Manning, Mahomes right now has as many Super Bowls, Super Bowl mm-hmm. MVPs. You're going to talk and about it later, so AFC let's not go championship too crazy. games than mm-hmm. Peyton Manning, but he's just special, man. <sighs> he he's special. He and I think this story, especially when talking about the Chiefs offense, the storyline for me for them is losing Tyreek Hill and it not mattering. It really not mattering. The Chiefs' defense has played man coverage on them the fourth highest rate of anyone in the NFL. And they were still able to execute him. Mahomes was still able to have the best season of his career. I mean, usually you're supposed to regress in these situations. And, and Mahomes didn't. And, and I think the fact that they were able to build this roster around Mahomes, get younger on defense, offensively rebuild that offensive line. I mean, it's just a credit to everybody, to Brett Veach, Andy Reid and his schematics. He fooled the Eagles twice on, on those red zone plays. I mean, listen, this is a well-oiled machine. But Patrick Mahomes is in the driver's seat of it, and he's just spectacular. All right, here we go. Let's run the Eagles fan. Talk yeah, no. Do you want to talk, Riff? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Right, Bill said. I'm hurting right now. Understandably so. I would definitely be distraught if my team lost in the Super Bowl as well. So I'm gonna. Can't relate. I want it to be known that I'm gonna try to speak objectively, and I understand that it's gonna be hard to receive that. Knowing my history of hate when it comes to Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Absolutely. But I want it to be known I'm speaking completely, 100% objectively right now. You actually tweeted that you wanted him to have his work. No, I, oh, no absolutely. There's Nothing no way up. around it. No, I wanted him to play <laughs> horrific. Yeah. I wanted no, it really crazy. badly. <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? You want me to sit here and lie? I thought you could uh, oh, no. tell us that in secrecy. Go, I Mahomes. I play well. It, you know? Win the Super Bowl. Yeah, you know, yeah, no, i am be honest. He won the Super Bowl, and I was definitely not happy. <laughs> But I can sit here and be completely transparent. That game that Patrick Mahomes played, particularly in the second half, was phenomenal. Nothing short of it. In the first half, it was it was basically the tale of two halves. It was the Eagles dominating. Yes, Jalen Hurts did fumble. But ultimately, the drive right after, Eagles respond. They score a touchdown. They go into halftime up 10. They must have enjoyed the halftime show a little bit too much. And the defense completely fell apart where, in the first half, they took Mahomes off the field twice. The, Eagle, the, the Eagles forced the, the Chiefs to punt twice, and obviously a missed, extra, uh, missed field goal, but that's on Harrison Bucker, who ended up ultimately winning the game for Kansas City. But in the second half, Mahomes and company were, were borderline flawless. And I say more so because, again, we had this whole debate, an hour-long debate prior to the show, that I believe both defenses didn't play well. I believe that the Chiefs' defense ultimately did play better than the Eagles, particularly in that second half, but I feel both did not play well. It looked a lot easier for the Chiefs to go down the field and score as opposed to the Eagles. That I'm 100% with you. The Chiefs would get the ball, and they drove down the field and made it no problem. My one issue with this game, 
and I was joking, tweeting about the referees. In hindsight, of course, I, those solely were for me to, to cope as well as I can. It was a hold. And for Bradbury to come out and say it was a hold also emphasizes that. And I want to I give a, a shout-out to the Eagles for handling this loss with grace and, and nothing but the utmost respect for them because they are not blaming one call for what was the entire game. And I'm 100% there as well. But what I'm upset about mostly is that the Eagles all game on fourth down going for it. Fourth and short, going for it. Fourth and, and five, going for it. They were aggressive the entire game. In one of the biggest moments, in one of the biggest drives of the game where you're down, you're down 28-27, it's fourth and two. Jalen Hurts has been automatic in short conversions. All game long, you decide to punt it. Why? Why in the most crucial, the most critical moments of the game where you're aggressive when you shouldn't be and it's working out when you need to be, you decide to fold over and punt it. And then in hindsight, of course, this is one even worse decision because Kadarius Tony goes and has the longest punt return in NFL history. Thank you.